The topic of hedging is always popular at RMC. Joining me now is Kayo Natividadi. He is the Managing Director and Head of Cross Asset Quantitative Research at Deutsche Bank. So thanks so much for coming to RMC Europe. Thank you. The number one question I have to ask you is P versus Q. It's a bit esoteric, but can you explain it in just layman's terms what investors need to know about that? Uh, sure. So it's it's in essence looking at the difference between the um, probabilities of certain events of the future occurring as implied by the options market versus as implied by something that may be more predictive than the options market itself. Uh, Q is what we call the risk neutral distribution. It can be inferred from options. And P is what we call the risk natural distribution. And that is uh, something that better reflects ma actual market patterns. There is a strategy that you say that you use once a day. It's alternative delta hedging. Can you explain that strategy? Sure. So alternative delta hedging is not so much a strategy in itself, but it's more a strategy inside a strategy, basically. It's, it's how, we, uh, uh, how we choose to, uh, um, to trade the, del the, the delta leg, the second leg, of um, the, the, the bigger strategy, which is uh, variance risk premium. Right? On one of those legs, all you're doing is you're selling options and you're collecting premium. That's what you're doing in one of those legs. The second leg is that you're trying to replicate the payoff from the option, but now just using uh, uh, delta, uh, the Delta 1 market, right? basically uh, the, the, the cash market. And uh, the way that we, uh, that we choose to trade the Delta 1 market is what we call uh, uh, the alternative Delta hedging leg of the trade and, and that sub-strategy that, uh, that I was mentioning earlier. How does this perform though when we have implied volatility that's maybe extremely low or extremely high? When you're looking at, uh, in the context of the variance risk premium, uh, uh, it is a very pro-cyclical strategy. So therefore, usually when you are in counter-cyclical environments, those of high volatility and so on, chances are it's underperforming. Okay? And alternative delta hedging is not going to help you that much uh, because the core premium is something that is truly pro-cyclical. On the other hand, when we're looking at P versus Q and the expression of that in, uh, and, and using that in order to express uh, delta unhedged uh, systematic strategies, then high volatility or low volatility can be something that you prepare for as you construct the strategy. In other words, you can construct a strategy that is primarily long options, mm -hmm. yeah. and through that yeah. you have convexity. And by having more convexity, you actually profit from environments where there is risk aversion in the market, there is higher volatility, and so on. What signs so. or signals do you watch in the market as you're building this strategy? As uh, systematic uh, uh, investors, we like to look at the persistent drivers of asset returns over multiple horizons. So things that have driven short-term returns over long periods of time, medium-term returns over long periods of time, and the same for long-term returns. Persistence, basically, is what we're looking for. And as we add that, uh, um, uh, as, as we add them together, we can construct portfolios which are tr truly di diversified, not only from an asset perspective, but also from a signal perspective and a, uh, um, a product perspective, too. Um, examples of that would be how well have, uh, whether prices have been rising a lot or not over the past 6 to 12 months. That gives us a, a reasonable uh, medium-term trend following signal. Or how assets have been rising or falling over the past 3 to 4 weeks, which in that case is likely to give us, in, in many assets, a very good mean reversion signal. Uh, what, is the, uh, um, uh, what is the distance between the current spot level of the asset and the futures price yeah. on the asset? which gives us a sense of what the carry is, uh, which also leaves us another, uh, another type of signal. So these are the just simple examples of things that we like to look at. Well, much success to you, and thank you again for your time. Thank you very much.